you are praying, praising, and prophesying in a public way that many people will see without the gesture of fabric over your head, you are putting the men in wicked disgrace. That means both of your sons and their father and me. You are disgracing me because the male human being is the head over the female human beings. And if you want, you want to just brush that idea away and hang out with a bunch of men and women who just don't even care about that stuff, well then, bye-bye. You can break from me and renounce the wisdom that I've been trying to share with you. If you are not fighting for that gathering of honesty and communion, cleansing our consciences together, not just you, but a group that has at least three family men that are admitting their faults regarding handling their women and their families and their lifestyles. If you don't have a circle of at least two or three, Jesus said, when two or three of you men are gathered together, I am there in your midst. That's actually what he's saying. There was a rule that 10 men have to stand together every single morning to pray blessings over the entire world and the whole human family because God loves everybody. The scripture says it is God's desire that no one is lost. It is God's desire that everyone is saved. But if the people who proclaim to love Jesus are not even following the practice of gathering together to clear the conscience and put Yeshua inside of us and then ask questions of the Holy Spirit. I'm sorry, please don't kill me, but I didn't print out your paper. Are you going to kill me if I have to do it over? No, no, I don't care. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Look, I, lo I love you people. I'm happy to be here. And... Uh, I'm I'm getting my vital signs retaken. Yeah, hold on, let me go grab another. Dasi da ba da ba, constantly being attended to by all these pleasant nurses and techs and stuff. So, this is just a portion. I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you because you weren't, because you weren't excited about the Didache. And like a mighty wind, I want to challenge you to pull up the Didache, D-I-D-A-C-H-E, and go to a, a UPS store and print it out, and you read that whole thing with your son in a cheerful, fun way, because the, those are the treats of God that were missing from my youth. I care about your child more than I care about you. And there are things that he is not getting, baby. He is not getting regular enough communion. Especially since there's no man in that household. You should be doing that communion with that child. And admitting your faults. Get the Didache printed out. And go online and get a copy of Like a Mighty Wind. You can get a copy of that on, on A Books for about three bucks. Get those things and bring them in your house, and you read all the way through them. I'm telling you, those two writings are more important than all of the preaching online and all of the, you know, all of the preachers shouting at demons and et cetera, et cetera. Those two books, those two little, they're, they're not even long, they're small. Those two things are some of the most grand training for a child, for a child that I have ever seen. It draws you into the scripture. It gives you a street style explanation of what's going on. So peace be with you. And I encourage you to remember that we are in danger.
and that we should be totally concerned about the consequences for not following what Jesus taught the apostles. You are blessed. You are a blessing. You are a happy song. And we will sing together under the cross of Christ. We will sing together under the cross of Christ.